Welcome to YouTube Averse, Facebook Live, whatever the fuck you're seeing this on. Check it out. Today, I'm going to show you how we're going to make the most amazing ribeye steak. Now, this is a boneless ribeye. Uh, a lot of times I like to get the bone in, just because that imparts a whole lot of flavor. But um, I went with the, with the boneless this time. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this in 10 minutes. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to cook it, and I'm going to have enough time to smoke a cigarette before it's going to be done. So check it. We're going to get to it, to it. We start always by sharpening the knife. If you have a dull knife, then you're going to make cutting a lot more difficult. Beautiful. Now, one thing I don't see a lot of people do after they sharpen their knife before they cut, they don't wipe it off. There's always going to be little shavings on there that you don't want. We're going to start with some butter. Now, this is pre salted. I don't know why anybody would use anything different. I don't have anybody filming for me. I do all my videos by myself. And I don't believe I'm too good at it, to be honest. Um, I got a pan on. Turn that up. Now, this has been sitting out for about 20 minutes. So. I'm going to take the pepper. Now this is going to lose about 35% of the seasoning once you add it to the pan. So don't be afraid to make sure it's appropriately seasoned. That is beautiful. That's lovely. That's what you want. That's a good sign. We're going to let that finish getting started. Uh, all I added was uh, garlic salt and ground black pepper. You don't need much more than that. I'm going to leave these over here because once I set it in the pan, then We have cilantro and we have parsley. They look exactly the same. That's the thing about these two. Hmm. Look at them. Look at the leaves. It looks like two of the same thing. However, this is cilantro, this is parsley. You can tell the difference only by the smell. Always lay steak away from it. Yeah. Get a nice dusting of some more pepper. And then I'm gonna give it a nice little dusting with some garlic salt. Alright. Well, we're gonna let that work. However, what I am gonna do is I am gonna add some more butter to it. When you add it to the pan, you want to add just a little nub. I add two or three tablespoons. Right. So, we're going to take our cilantro. You don't want to over chop it. You don't want to underuse it. This is just for one steak, so we're not going to use all of it. 
Just give it a nice rough job. This is not as easy as you might think. I'm going to base this. about this steak is you do not want to turn it over until it's ready. You only want to turn it over once. also eat and we get our flavor through our nose so you definitely want to have the aromatics in there and onions just provide that all right so this is what it looks like all right 
clean that up. Oh, look at that color. Look at that crust. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That is exactly what I was looking for. Now, we're going to take our sliced baby dough. Because you can't have a good steak without sauteed onions and mushrooms. And baby bell is a personal favorite of mine. It's definitely true to that. So. There we go. Yeah. Pop some of these out. And it's plenty. I like my sauteed mushrooms. I really truly do. So. Do I make more than I should? Yeah, but who's just how many mushrooms I should fucking eat, right? So we got parsley, we got our mushrooms. And in here, we've got our steak. So we're going to grab the parsley and mushrooms. We're going to add them to the outside. And this, again, on the outside. There we go. Now, I've already gone through one stick of butter. Definitely going to add another knob. And we're going to turn down the heat. Just six. Mine goes to ten. Put it on six. Oh yeah, this thing looks lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, that's no good anymore. Alright. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a trauma. Well, I was looking for some white wine to add to it, but that's okay. We can do it that. So, here we are. All right. Look at that. Turn down the heat so that the mushrooms could cook a little bit. I see. Putting the lid on top of that, well, that's gonna obviously help it cook just a little bit faster. So, yeah. And you don't have to leave it covered for very long. Just take it off. Not very long at all. But, one thing that does matter. Take that and put it on top of there. Now the reason I'm doing that is because 
This pan is raised. Now I have cilantro, onions, parsley, mushrooms, and this is going to make a lovely glaze sauce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this all the way down to low. Is that going to be a little bit more reducing? And we're going to leave that there and that's there simmering. question is, is it medium rare? Let's find out. First, let's start with the I'm going for medium rare. Look at that. Nailed it. Absolutely gorgeous. See the pink? It's not raw. That's what you want. Got a crispy crust. Very nice texture wise. Not too firm. Not too soft. It's exactly what you want out of a ribeye steak. You don't want to ruin it. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want to undercook it. And this. This is an absolute winner. Oh yeah, I'll take this any day of the week. Mm. Thanks for joining in, y'all. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions, any ideas. Till next time, peace.